Nia is the lavish buffet concept of the Vikings restaurant group, which differentiates itself through gourmet dishes, elegant interior design, plush seating, and live entertainment. It is located at the posh SMRA Premier Mall in Bonifacio Global City and opened in 2014. Nia, in Old Norse, the language of the Vikings translates to the number 9, which has magical significance. In Norse mythology, Odin, the king god of Asgard and ruler of the nine Norse worlds, hung nine days on the world axis, or Yggdrasil tree, to win the secrets of wisdom for mankind. As such, the number nine was utilized in rituals and sacrifices. In this same light, Nia by Vikings has nine live food and drink stations with more than 300 dishes and drinks. The nine stations are cold, Japanese, beverage, Pan-Asian, Chinese, grill, carving, continental, and dessert. As this buffet is pricier than other non-hotel buffet restaurants like Buffet 101, Dad's World Buffet, Yaki Mix Prime, Sambo Kojin, to get the value for your money, it's more difficult but manageable. Remember that stomach space is valuable and limited, so focus only on the big ticket protein items and less carbohydrates. The buffet stretches over 100 meters, so it makes perfect sense to wear comfortable shoes. Starting at the beverage station, you will have a choice of alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. We focused on their white and red wines to pair with our chilled seafood and cheeses, ice-cold draft San Miguel beer with the steamed suahe, and hot sake with our Japanese dishes, and fresh watermelon shakes and infused waters to refresh the palate. Now if only they had champagne as an add-on. We also have a selection of imported Asian beer like Singapore Tiger Beer and Thailand Chang Beer.
Gold Station is one of our favorites at this buffet, and we highly recommend the poached New Zealand black mussels, slipper lobster, lumpfish caviar, crabs, and while there, make sure to cut a few slices of Spanish manchego cheese, which is made from milk of the manchega sheep breed. Manchego cheese has a firm and compact consistency, yet a buttery and grainy texture due to the unevenly distributed air pockets. It's quite expensive, so normally only 5-star hotels would even dare to have it on their buffet. The Japanese station may look good from far, but is far from good as while the colorful assorted makis may tempt your eyes, it lacks the sashimi choices like ikura and uni to take it to the next level. We suggest to stay away from the maki rolls and focus on a few slivers of the mainstream sashimi that they do have, salmon and tuna, and a few pieces of their tempura as long as it was freshly cooked. station would have to be the Pan-Asian as there was nothing that caught our attention aside from the fried whole mahi-mahi on display.
Their Hainanese chicken was tender and succulent, but not as good as Winan Ki. We spent a good deal of time returning to the Chinese station for their steamed swahe and crabs as well as sautéed vegetables. From their dim sum, only the shrimp dumplings stood out, but we would have still preferred the wrapper to be thinner. Take note, you can ask the chef for a special order of chili salt and pepper crabs. From the grill station, the only two items to order would be their lamb kebab and gindara with teriyaki sauce.
Carving stations at buffets are notorious for always serving dry meat as they tend to get overcooked while sitting pretty underneath 150 watt suspended heat lamps. At Nia, this sadly was also the case. So have a slice of the New Zealand garlic and rosemary studded lamb leg with mint sauce, US prime rib with mushroom gravy, just so you got your bases covered. The signature dish at Vikings has always been their belly chon, or roasted pork belly, and this is worth having at least two servings of as it is crispy, aromatic, and just so addictive. The Continental Station has wood-fired pizzas, fresh pastas, and stewed European dishes, but the only thing to gorge on is unlimited foie gras. Currently, the only other venue that serves unlimited foie gras is the legendary Spiral Buffet at the Sofitel Philippine Plaza. The dessert station is literally a massive treat with local desserts, assorted cakes and pastries, fresh fruits, halo halo, frozen yogurt, crepes, chocolate fondue fountains, churros, and to top it off, artisanal ice cream and gelato. Nia is more than just a Vikings buffet, it is an offering to the gods, a celebration of life, appreciation for food, and a welcome addition to Manila's evolving buffet scene.
If you like this review, please click on the like button, subscribe, and share with your friends, and feel free to leave us a message on your experience. Elorda Elite is the newest contact sports and fitness gym in Makati, opened in 2015. They specialize in training for boxing, Muay Thai, MMA, and High Intensity Interval Training or HIIT. Located at the roof deck of the Planters Products building close to Murphy's Irish Bar, you will be impressed by Elorda Elite's 10-meter high ceilings to keep the place cool from all the serious activity.